Here is the first look of a Brooklyn Gray M2. Behind me, I have a brand new BMW M2 finished off in Brooklyn Gray. This is another Hayes spec package similar to the black sapphire metallic that I did earlier before on my channel. If you guys want to see that, feel free to click the link right here or check out my channel for the black M2. But in this one, I'm going to highlight to you guys the first look of the Brooklyn Gray M2. All right, so let's just take a walk around the vehicle. It is a nice sunny day here. The sun is reflecting. Brooklyn Gray is such a light pastel gray, kind of similar to Nardo Gray, a little bit of a lighter tone. A lot of people say there's a bit of blue hue in it. I could totally see that with the Brooklyn Gray. Now this Hayes spec package does have the upgraded black wheels. So 19 inch wheels in the front, 20 inch wheels in the black, and we also have the red M Sport brakes. Now coming around the back, we have the 50th anniversary emblem. We have a Chrome M2 badge. It also has the black tailpipe instead of the Chrome tailpipe. When the car is not black, you can really get an idea for the black rear diffuser. It's a lot more pronounced on any car that's not black. And then you also have, with the reflector lights, that black trim piece in there as well. But it's a black sapphire car. You don't notice all this black bumper content. Get a good look at the concaveness of the rear wheel. Now, this one did get the Pirelli tires. I have yet to see a new M2 come in without the Pirelli tires. Give you a good look at the red M4 brakes. A big side skirt on the M2. I love the rear side skirt, how it comes up together right there. The flush door handles, the M mirror caps finish in the Brooklyn Gray. Coming back around to the front, Hey, a spec package is going to have a premium package. So you have the adaptive LED headlights and they're also the tinted shadow line headlights. Then you have the big controversial front grille of the M2. Now, when it's not black, you notice, wow, that's a lot of black bumper content inside the air vents here. And this whole lower midsection is all black plastic bumper content. Would have been nice if there was a little bit of Brooklyn gray going along the bottom to tie it all together. That's my personal opinion. And then with the black bumper content and the bumper sensors, like all the front bumper sensors are in their own housing inside the black bumper content. The grill is like shrunk into the bumper with its new horizontal slats. And this one does have the radar sensor there because it is on the inside, the automatic transmission. Let's take a peek through the passenger side. We do have the Hayes Spec M highlights interior with Vernasca leather. So on the outsides, we have the red stripe, the headrest gets the dark blue, and the inner sides get the light blue. The M2 does have the M highlighted door panels like the M240, but there is no M up here because up here we have carbon fiber trim. We have that curved display screen with iDrive 8, automatic transmission, all of the other iDrive controllers and set up everything else that you need. Such a beautiful interior. Before we hop into the driver's side, let's open the trunk and take a look at it. That's got all the trunk space you need. I mean, you need to put some hockey bags. If you need to put some skiing stuff, you can drop the seats down. What more are you going to expect out of a small, tiny coupe? All right. Before we have any, we also have the carbon fiber roof on the Hayes spec package. On the inside, the carbon fiber also goes onto the steering wheel and the shift paddles. Now, when you want to get into the back seat, just press this right here. Then the seat will automatically power forward as well. Back seats are quite spacious. Really all the room that you'd expect to have out of this size of a vehicle. This one also has the um, seat belts. All the gray contrast stitching looks very nice in the back seats. We'll let the seat come forward. We'll go back in before we hop inside here. All right, let's start 
this bad boy up. I'm a little hot, so I want to get some AC going. It's a hot day here. Give you an idea for how the iDrive 8 system lays out. I do want automatic program there. Let's go iDrive 8. I like how everything is apps right here. If you do come down and you click M mode, and then we're going to click sport here and watch what happens to the gauge cluster. Boom. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Even have the M drift analyzer here if you want to start shredding. And since this car is rear wheel drive, most customers will probably utilize that at one point or another. Navigation system is massive. Now you can click this and customize the content that you see over here. Tire pressure, G-Force, music, setup, map. Let's do map. It's like a square. If I go M mode, let's go back to road, see how it changes. And the map goes more in the center like it should. And then here you can even customize the head-up display. Let's give you a look at the head-up display here. There's really only two options for head-up display. Do you want the arrow telling you if you're heading north, east, south, or west? Or do you not want the arrow for that? Now, below that, you will find that you've lost a lot of buttons here because everything has been pushed in the infotainment. Climate control menus in here. Carbon fiber cover. Wireless device charging tray. And the cup holders. And then coming down, you have the automatic transmission controller. So that's going to be drive. That's reverse. Once you're in drive, you can go through your gears like a Steptronic transmission. Park is right there. I love the M just printed into the leather here. Red start stop engine button, muffler, automatic brake hold, electronic parking brake. These paddle shifters are brilliant. And when you get these lines, that's when you know you have the active stop and go cruise control. All right, that's pretty much everything inside the cabin that I want to show you guys. The next thing is the engine bay. Pull twice. I right, kick it over the power dome on this hood. And there we have it, the beautiful S58 engine, rated for 453 horsepower at the crank. But people have been dyno testing these and finding out that they're like 460 at the wheels, which is crazy for this kind of car. Beautiful engineering with the S58 engine. It would be nice. We had that carbon fiber bar from the S55, but at the end of the day, this engine works better and that's all that matters. More power, right? Give that a close. What a beautiful car. I guess the only thing left is to hear what the exhaust sounds like. put that car in m2 the exhaust sounds phenomenal anyway i hope you guys appreciated this quick walk around on the brooklyn gray m2 if you guys did make sure you smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you guys are in toronto and you want to order an m2 feel free to reach out to me i'm gonna email down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video